Hey peeps, we spend our days scouring the wilds of the internet to find you the best and biggest stories. It's a dangerous job, but somebody's gotta do it. Here's the spoils of our victory for this week. It's your top five. Number five, this week saw the huge Destiny 2 gameplay reveal event in Los Angeles, and with it came new everything. A redesigned weapon slot system allows you to wield a power weapon, energy weapon, and kinetic weapon. There are new super abilities, new worlds, and an area that was cut from the first Destiny called the European Dead Zone. Get all the details for the new Strike competitive multiplayer and the mysterious Lost Sectors at the link below. Number four. We finally have a solid release date for South Park The Fractured Butthole. Mark your calendars for October 17th for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. The game will be available in four editions, Standard Gold, Steelbook Gold, and Collector's Editions. Number three, Blizzard is celebrating Overwatch's first anniversary with a new seasonal event, another free weekend, and a digital Game of the Year edition of Overwatch. The Overwatch Anniversary event begins on Tuesday, May 23rd, when the Game of the Year edition releases and will end on Monday, June 12th. For details on the Game of the Year bonuses, click the link below. Number two, Ubisoft revealed three new sequels coming for their major franchises. In their fiscal year earnings report, Ubisoft confirmed Assassin's Creed, as well as Far Cry 5 and The Crew 2 are all headed our way. All three titles are expected to arrive sometime between April 1st, 2017 and March 31st, 2018. And here's hoping AC is set in Egypt. Come on, I want to see Cleopatra. And number one, sad Game of Thrones is soon coming to a close. Well, here's something. Netflix revealed they're creating a new show based on the Witcher saga. Yes, that is actually happening. Tomas Baginski, who was originally directing the movie version, is directing at least one episode per season of the show. The author of the books, the show, and games are based on. Andrzej Sapkowski said the goal is to stay true to the source material and the themes that he spent over 30 years writing. Let's just hope they're as good as the games. And those are your top five stories of the week. Be sure to watch the rest of our Daily Fix episodes for more news. And don't forget to check out IGN's Road to E3 series, where we talk about games we're excited to see this year, like the epic and fresh take on Sony's God of War. It even has dragons. So rad. Anyway, have a great weekend, and we'll see you back on The Fix tomorrow. Bye. It's a dangerous job, OK? I have three broken legs. Broken wrist, terrible. <laughs>